friends let's today understand numericals for plant reproduction that comes in neat exam we have two concepts for this one is microsporogenesis another is megasporogenesis microsporogenesis is development of male gametophyte megasporogenesis is development of female gametophyte so let's see we have an anther that is stamen anther and filament when you look at the anther inside it is going to have MMC. MMC is microspore mother cell which will be deployed in nature. So how the development goes? MMC which is 2N undergoes meiosis forms 4 haploid pollen grains. Now each pollen grain will undergo mitosis 2 times. So one mitosis will be before pollination and second after pollination. Before pollination in anther and after pollination on the stigma. The nucleus of the pollen grain undergoes first mitosis and it forms two cells that is generative cell and the vegetative cell which is also called as the tube cell. The generative cell on the stigma undergoes second mitosis and it produces two haploid male gametes that will take part in fertilization. So these are the important topics that we need to understand. Now, mega microsporogenesis is responsible for production of four haploid pollen grains. In megasporogenesis, MMC, megaspore mother cell, undergoes meiosis and it produces four haploid megaspore, out of which the upper three or the lower three will degenerate. Let us take the lower three degenerates. So, when it degenerates, it gives all its energy to the last one and it becomes the functional mega spore only one functional mega spore will be formed if it is unisporic ovule now if it is bisporic then two will be formed trisporic three tetrasporic four functional mega spore undergoes first mitosis forming a two celled stage this two cell stage undergoes second mitosis forming four celled stage this four cell stage undergoes third mitosis forming eight celled stage structure now out of this eight cell stage stage one cell from each pole comes in the center the cell which comes in the center only the cytoplasm will fuse not the nucleus what you need to understand the three cells which are at the pole they are called as antipodal cell and the middle one the cytoplasm fuses not the nucleus this is embryo sac which is seven celled and eight nucleated structure the cells that are present on the upper side that is at the chalazal end it is called as antipodal cell it will be haploid the cell which is in the center is the egg cell that takes part in fertilization which is haploid egg cells are surrounded by synergids which is also haploid in the center we have secondary nucleus which is also called as definitive nucleus which is two nucleus and one cell structure so with this we need to understand if it is unisporic only one of functional megaspore bisporic two functional megaspore trisporic three functional megaspore and if all four develops as functional megaspore, then tetrasporic ovule. If nothing is given, we need to understand that it is unisporic ovule. Let's see in detail. Now, we need to understand all this. Now, the concept with respect to megaspore. 1 MMC, meiosis, forms 1 megaspore, 3 mitosis, and forms 1 embryo. Microspore 1 MMC, 1 meiosis, 4 microspore, which undergoes 2 times mitosis to produce haploid male gametes. Now, how the concept is for formation of one seed, we need one pollen grain plus one ovule. For formation of one pollen grain, 1 by 4 MMC is required. For ovule, it is 1 by 1 if it is unisporic ovule. For mitosis, pollen grain two times, ovule three times. The question is, for 
हंड्रेड सीड फॉर्मेशन सो द्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिंपल फॉर हंड्रेड सीड फॉर्मेशन हाउ मेनी पोलिन ग्रेन आर रिक्वायर्ड हाउ मेनी ओव्यूल्स आर रिक्वायर्ड हाउ मेनी एम एम सी विल बी रिक्वायर्ड हाउ मेनी टाइम्स इट विल अंडर गो माइटोसिस सो लेट्स टेक वन कॉन्सेप्ट हियर सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट पोलिन ग्रेन सी आई सेट फॉर वन सीड वन पोलिन ग्रेन वन ओव्यूल सो फॉर हंड्रेड सीड हंड्रेड पोलिन ग्रेन एंड हंड्रेड ओव्यूल नाउ फॉर वन सीड हाउ मच वॉज एम एम सी वन बाय फोर सो फॉर हंड्रेड सीड्स इट विल बी हंड्रेड बाय फोर एम एम सी फॉर पोलिन ग्रेन प्लस दिस वॉज वन फॉर वन ओव्यूल वन बाय वन एम एम सी सो यर इट विल बी हंड्रेड बाय वन एम एम सी सो हंड्रेड बाय फोर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस हंड्रेड सो टोटल कम्स टू वन ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम सी इज रिक्वायर्ड सो इट्स वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड वेर एज ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑफ द एम एम सी दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड इज माइक्रोस्पोर दैट इज फ्रॉम द मेल एंड हंड्रेड दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड इज मेगा ओके ना क्वेश्चन कम सी माइट हाउसेज सो दे वी हैव ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम सी सो ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम सी विल गिव यू इन टू फोर दैट इज हंड्रेड पोलिन ग्रेन दिस हंड्रेड पोलिन ग्रेन इज गोइंग टू अंडर गो माइट हाउसेज सो लेट्स हंड्रेड इन टू टू बिकॉज आई हैव सेट that two times mitosis so that is equal to 200 mitosis for male and for female it is 100 so let's take it as 100 into 1 that is equal to 100 ovule required this 100 ovule is going to undergo mitosis how many times three times so three mitosis so we say 100 into 3 that is equal to 300 mitosis so when we total it up how much we get 200 plus 300 that is equal to 500 times mitosis so 500 mitosis is required to this now the question that can one more be added here how many meiosis will be required so when we go for meiosis again the question becomes very much easy so first we need to understand if it is asked let's say for meiosis so it is same as the mmc so for one pollen grain it is 1 by 4 meiosis in male and for female it is 1 by 1 meiosis so how many seeds we have here 100 seeds so with respect to meiosis how much it will come to so it will be 100 by 4 meiosis for pollen grain plus 100 by 1 meiosis for ovule so finally how much we are going to get we are going to get to 25 plus 100 that is equal to 125 so it's very easy to understand provided if you know this simple concept with respect to seed formation so the question can be based on mmc or it can be based on mitosis or it can be based on meiosis the question can also be twisted other way around let's say for example they say that there are 100 mmc of male and there is 500 mmc of female so when i talk about mmc it is megaspore mother cell or microspore mother cell and the question can be seeds formed will be how much so let's take 100 mmc for male so we say 100 into how many pollen grains will you form four so we get 400 pollen grains it's very simple to understand now if it is unisporic will 500 mmc so 500 into 1 because only one ovule is formed so 500 into 1 will give you 500 ovules now what is the rule for one seed you need one pollen grain and one ovule how many pollen grains we have 400 how many ovules we have 500 so basically what we need 400 pollen grain plus 400 ovule so it will result in the formation of 400 seeds if we get words like mitosis mmc root stem leaves anther ovary fruit seeds 
then we need to understand they all are diploid having 2n chromosome if you get word meiosis gametes ovule pollen grain egg sperm antipodal cells synergids they all are haploid having half number of chromosome if it is endosperm we always said 3n triploid question can come based on these concepts so let's try and understand the question is let us take the root has 42 chromosomes it's a very simple question the root has 42 chromosome so what will be the chromosome number of let's take stem gametes endosperm secondary nucleus so it's very simple now what we need to understand here the concept first so we are using one word the word is 42 chromosome whenever you talk about root so root is nothing but 2n 2n is how much 42 so what will be n equal to 42 by 2 that is equal to 21 so this 21 is nothing but haploid so once you have got this n things are easy stem is 2n so 2 into 21 42 chromosome so there are 42 chromosomes present in the stem second is gamete gametes as i told you they are haploid so we write n so n is nothing but 21 so we say that there are 21 chromosomes present in the gametes then we have the word endosperm as i have mentioned earlier endosperm is 3n so we write 3n that is 3 into 21 that comes to 63 chromosome so and they have mentioned one more secondary nucleus so as i told you earlier that secondary nucleus is 2n so 2n is nothing but 42 chromosome so if you know this basic concept which one is haploid and which one is diploid you can easily solve the numericals sometime it happens there can be one more question let us take the male plant has 42 chromosome now here they have mentioned the word male plant they are not saying the gametes and let us take female plant is having let us take 24 chromosome so it's very easy male plant having 42 and female plant is having 24 chromosomes what will be the chromosome number of let us take male gamete is how much female gamete is how much what will be the chromosome number of secondary nucleus so it's a question mark what will be the chromosome number let's take of pollen grain what will be the chromosome number of endosperm so let's take these examples to solve first now we have mentioned one word male plant so male plant it simply means one thing that it is diploid 2n 2n corresponds to 42 so definitely n is equal to 21 that we have got then there is a word female plant now when we are using plant here so plant is 2n so 2n is nothing but 24 so what will be n equal to so we can say n is nothing but 12 so like that we got n for male is 21 and for female it is 12 now let's try to solve the questions now it becomes very much easy if you have understood the concept so how it goes see male gamete so male gamete basically it's a male it is a haploid as we have mentioned here at the gametes they are always haploid so a male gamete is n so male gamete 21 chromosome female gamete is also haploid so we say it is 12 so we say it is 12 chromosome so this way you can solve the two questions of male gamete and female gamete chromosome secondary nucleus now we need to understand very carefully secondary nucleus is a part of embryo sac now it is related to female so female having 12 chromosome secondary nucleus is diploid so you get 24 chromosomes now next question that comes here is pollen grain so pollen grain as it is same as the male gamete only so it is 21 chromosomes endosperm we need to understand endosperm is 3 n so for endosperm we need to understand one thing this is secondary nucleus 
and this is the male gamete so understand this male gamete secondary nucleus so what was the chromosome number for secondary nucleus we got 24 so let us take 24 to be this male gamete is how much 21 so 21 plus 24 21 plus 24 that comes to 45 so this becomes the chromosome number for endosperm in this way you can solve the numericals of neat exams which hope you have understood the concept do like subscribe to the channel and share with your friends thank you very much